This is the star stitch and it creates a little texture that makes a very nice baby blanket or a scarf. It's a simple stitch to do. I'm beginning with a base. It's a 3 plus 1 pattern. So I began with a chain of 3 plus 1 and in my second chain from the hook I, I worked my single crochet. So now I've got a base of single crochets and I'll just show you how to make a several of the stars. The beginning star begins with a chain 2 as you turn. And now you're going to insert your hook into the second chain from your hook and insert your hook under the top two loops of the next three single crochets. And once you get all your loops on the hook, you have five, yarn over, pull through all five, and close with a slip stitch. Now the rest of your stars you're going to work into that slip stitch space. Yarn over and pull through. So now you've got two loops on the hook and you're working in the next three. Skip whatever ones you have used for your previous star and you're going to put three more. So again I have five on my hook. Yarn over, pull through all five close with the slip stitch. And that slip stitch space is now the basis of my next star. Yarn over and pull through. Two loops on the hook. Skip your star and work into the next three single crochets, just pulling a yarn over and pulling it up. So again you have five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through close with the single crochet and again that single I mean a slip stitch and that slip stitch space is now your beginning of the new star. Pull yarn through, skip all of the ones you've worked through and work through the next three pulling up your loops, yarn over and pull through. So it's really just the first star in the row that you need to chain two to create that beginning and the rest you just work through the chain I mean the slip stitch space so it creates a nice texture now your next row I usually work turn around and just work a, a single crochet row making sure again that you don't miss any stitches putting one stitch in your uh, single crochet a slip stitch space and two in the next space so you make sure you have your three base stitches there and then after you've gotten that you just turn around and begin your star row again and you'll end up with a pattern like this the edges are a little rough because of the way you begin and in the row it's not exactly the same however if you're making a scarf you can add your fringe in those rows and it comes out quite nicely or just work a border around them to smooth them out. If you would like more videos like this please subscribe to my crochet channel.